this is a very big developing story at this point in time. Nortis Live is closely monitoring this story. Uh, uh, you know, what China is doing is an aggressive posturing once again in Arunachal Pradesh. This time by opposing the 11,000 megawatt Upper Siang uh, multipurpose storage dam that is being built by India. Now, what is what is that decision to build this single dam, multipurpose storage dam in the upper reaches of the Siang River was taken by the Indian government in 2017. Earlier, there were plans to form three to four separate dams, but in 2017, a decision was taken to have a single dam to be named as the Upper Siang Multipurpose Storage Project. Now, 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 what we understand is that, and also stated by Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister uh, uh, Pema Khandu only two days ago, is basically that it is extremely important for India to construct this dam on the Upper Siang River, on the Upper Upper Siang Multipurpose Test Project on the Siang River, 11,000 megawatt, not from the not from the power generation point of view, but from the emotional or nationally sentimental point of view, because the China is already building a 60,000 megawatt dam in the Yarlung Changpo that has the potential to block the water flow into India because as we know China is in the upper reaches in the upper riparian and there are 11 rivers flowing out of China into several countries China has an upper hand as far as controlling the flow of the water now with the construction of this 60,000 megawatt dam one of the biggest uh, in the world which is even bigger than the three gorges dam uh, uh, China can exert control over the water flow so there may be a situation when China may control the water, stop the water flow into the Siang. Siang, Siang is a river that flows into or, from or, up, originates in the Tibetan, Tibetan Himalayas, flows into Arunachal Pradesh, then enters Assam and becomes the Brahmaputra. It traverses 442 kilometers in Arunachal Pradesh before becoming the Brahmaputra as it enters Assam. Now, this is a, a very, very emotional and sentimental project. That is what the Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister uh, Pema Khandu is saying it is important to keep the, keep the Siang River alive, not necessarily from an electricity generation point of view. Priya. Right. Also, uh, what's been noteworthy here is that uh, only last week our Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar, he, uh, he met uh, his Chinese counterpart in Kazakhstan with the two, uh, two uh, uh, ministers. They agreed on, you know, uh, renewed efforts to resolve their border issues. But China seems to be going its own way yet again, Vazbir. Yes, uh, that is the Chinese are known for that. They are, they are known to go back on their understandings. They are known to go back on their agreements. But there is no water treaty as such between India and China at this point in time. There is only a treaty that talks about uh, data sharing, hydrological data sharing during the monsoon season for a couple of months. Uh, uh, but but therefore that is what uh, the Chinese are taking advantage of. China says that it has the right of first use. Uh, since the river originates in China, in the Tibetan Himalayas, the China is claiming uh, that it has the right of first use. Now, if the river is not used in the Indian side, the right of first use uh, uh, will be will be lost to India. Therefore, it is all the more important for the for India to build dams at least to store the water. And that, as Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister uh, Pema Khandu is saying, the water. The Siang River may just uh, uh, become dead if the Chinese stop the flow. But there are groups in Arunachal Pradesh now, like the Siang Indigenous Farmers Forum, the Dibang Resistance, which are opposing the construction of this 11,000 megawatt dam. They're saying that it will lead to displacement of people. About 300 villages are going to be submerged. That is their fear. And they're saying that it is going to affect the ecology and environment. But these are fears which the Arunachal authorities are saying that these are unfounded fears and nothing like that is going to happen. Now, 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 what is what is important is that you know we also have to deflect Chinese uh, uh, plans. The China is building this dam, and they are also planning to divert the Brahmaputra River itself. Now, this dam is extremely important to to stop the diversion project, the Chinese diversion project of the Brahmaputra. So, it has got large scale implications for India. It, this dam is going to have a tremendous strategic importance to India, and therefore, the anti dam lobby lobbies must in, must enter into dialogue. With the, with the government, that's what the government is ready for talks with them and the, the well-meaning people are also interested that their concerns need to be addressed as well. Their fears need to be addressed. They're saying that the 300 villages belonging to the Adi tribe are going to be submerged and, and, and there will be large-scale environmental and ecological disturbance in the area if this dam project is to continue. But, but uh, India is also building uh, a, a very big dam uh, 
in 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 the Subansri River, it is a 2.6 billion dollar dam. It is going on for the last 20 years. It is not yet completed. Built by the National Hydropower Corporation. Uh, so this is uh, this is also it is going to have eight units and produce two gigawatts of electricity, two gigawatts of power. That's huge, and that is also of huge strategic importance to India. So because of all these uh, dam projects that India is focusing on infra development projects, India will be absolutely self-sufficient in electricity, and that is the reason why China uh, is keeping its uh, its uh, keep, uh, stepping up the ante as far as the construction of dams by India is concerned. And also uh, experts are saying that China has only 5% of the fresh water reservoir of the Yarlung Changpo, which is also that is the Brahmaputra in the China because uh, it originates in China and flows downstream. Therefore, they have only 5% of the Brahmaputra's fresh water reservoir located within China. And water is the reason why China is eyeing our national protest. This is, this is an opinion uh, that is building up among experts closely watching the India-China situation.